Hello guys, Salty Gamer here, back with another part of Dengar Ropa 2, Goodbye Spare, and today I'm going to start the third chapter, so let's get started. What's happening? No one's here, right? <laughs> Man, I can totally see it now, those idiots. Can't wait to see the surprise look on their dumb faces. Is she gonna kill someone already? <laughs> but they'll probably be happy about it. They'll probably be very, very happy. Happy about what? Already. <laughs> Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Morning, huh? In the end, I was so worried about Fuyuhiko that I couldn't sleep. Involving himself in Peko's execution like that. Suffering all his wounds. Is he really gonna live? And was it really okay to leave him in Monokuma's care? You had no other choice. Worry I consume, has consumed my heart. My body feels terribly burdened. But that worry ends here. There's no way I can just lie here and do nothing. Losing my step by, I slowly sat up in bed. I guess I should head over to, that, to the restaurant. That's right, just do it! I should meet up with everyone at the restaurant first. Then we'll question Makuma afterwards. I'm definitely gonna find out if Fuyuhiko is safe or not. But first... We have to clean up the pets. Clean the pet, clean the pets. I'll give you a present. Here's another present. I wonder if I fill up the bar. Is he gonna do anything? So just two hearts away. Okay, just one more. Anything? Come on! Nothing? Really? I got nothing from that. Okay, let's go to a restaurant. Wow, well, Hajime, you're already here? What were you planning to do? Hiko, you're the only one here. What are you acting so anxious about? <laughs> Not acting anxious. I just happened to be awake by coincidence, so I just came here early. 
I see. This girl. This girl. There's stuff, something strange. Is she trying to pull some kind of dirty trick again? I just have to be awake by coincidence. So I just came here early. It's just coincidence. Everyone should be waiting. Should be arriving here soon. I should wait here for a while. For a while. Oh, she br she wanted to help remember um, Peko, like a, a memorial for Peko. What the heck is that? Is this? A panel had been propped up. It's giving off a dreadful and unsettling vibe. There's a bunch of holes pasted all over it. Did Mario take these photos? Oh, it's for Mario, not for Peko. But what's with this terrifying ambience? Yay! Wow. What's this? What an adorable decoration. Well, she finds odd things to be adorable. Um. I don't know who did, but they must have spent so much time and effort doing their best to make it. Mario's gonna be happy too. I don't know who did this, but we should be grateful to them, right? Hey, Iko, did you? Uh, hello. Ah, uh, good morning. So rare to run into you two here. She's gonna be so shocked. Hmm, what are you looking at? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> look at her. Look, look at her laugh. Look at her scream. Yeah. What are these? These horrifying fake photos. I expect that reaction. Yo, what happened? You? What's up, what's up? Is it a brawl? Huh? Yo, what's all this ruckus in the morning? <laughs> this bad. Please take a look at the at these at those photos. Huh? Uh photos. Whoa! What the heck? Hey, 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 hey! What kind of ominous crap is this? Is it something like you use, like this something you use for sorcery? Mm. This is clearly an insult against Myro. Damn it! I don't know who did this crap, but they got a lot of nerve. <sighs> There's too much to extreme treat Myro's photos like that, like this. <laughs> Look at her face. She's like, what? Ah, everyone. I understand how you guys feel, but it's probably good day. Good morning, everyone. Good nom nom numbing. Good morning, girl. What's with those nasty photos giving off a crazy huge ominous aura? Something like this. This no excuse. This is too terrible. How can how could someone be capable of such a heartless trick? Oh wow, even Sonya doesn't like it. No seriously, it's just Hey! I know, right? Seriously, just the worst. Jeez, I wonder who the hell did it did it. Huh? Mm -hmm. You're right, there's no way Myro would be happy with this. <laughs> she won't just be unhappy. I'm sure I should be so angry. She cried tears of blood. Huh? Man, who the hell did this? No. Now I have to search for the criminal later. In the meantime, fool. Fire is such a fire. We we'll have a great, we we'll have a grand of fire, so Myro can reach Nirvana. Seriously, this is. Hold it. You can't. Someone took their time to make this memorial, so it can mourn for Myro. You can't burn it. <laughs> uh, mourn Myro? What the heck? You sure it's not the other way around? I'm pretty sure whoever made this is totally disrespecting Myro. You think so? Really, I think he's just a little bit clumsy. See? Want to take a close look at the intent instead of focusing on appearances. Perhaps. Despite their clumsiness, I'm sure whoever made this probably did their very best. If you look at it carefully, 
Don't you feel like you can sense her feelings? My role's not alone. She'll be with us now and forever. I was probably made of those feelings. Right? So I definitely think, yup, it's a nice decoration. I see. I'm hearing you say that, I'm starting to feel the same thing. You... You sure are simple-minded. <laughs> I, I don't... I don't really want to burn it. Huh? It cannot be. Which person made this? <laughs> Myra was really, really nice. She politely taught me how to tie my kimono. <laughs> she was really good at taking care of others. <laughs> my hero is probably lonely by herself. So I want to tell her that she's not alone. Even if she's in heaven. <laughs> Yiko, you... <laughs> I did want to make it look better, but you did your best. But unless I'm dancing, I'm so clumsy at whatever I do. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no, don't cry. I am sorry. I'm terribly sorry. I spoke out of turn, not concerning your feelings at all. <laughs> sorry, Hiyoko. I'm sorry. Well... How should I put this? It looks like we misunderstood. <laughs> now I take a look, closer look. It looks like you put a lot of thought into the decorations. For now. So let's keep this thing around until we get until we get off the island. This island. No. No, she's coming with us when we get off this island too. It'll be a waste to leave behind such wonderful photos. <laughs> so we're not gonna burn it. Impossible. Of course not, we'd never burn it. You. Weren't you the one who shouted that? Kept sh started shouting that? I got it! Fine, I'll forgive you all. Except Mikon, of course. <laughs> Why she hates Mikon so much? Why? Why are you so strict with me? I see, I see. Man, it's so unexpected. Meow! I really can't imagine Hiko being so diligent and earnest about something. Huh. Who cares about that? <laughs> Hiko has a very kind heart. That's not it! Kind, come on, come on, it's not like that. Jeez! Jeez, stop it already. <laughs> I don't have to be embarrassed. Stop it! Seriously, stop it, don't tease me. <laughs> uh, Hiko is so adorable, but she's embarrassed. Oh, she's, she's gonna call her pig shit or something. She's gonna insult her, just watch. Shut up! Yup, I knew it. Shut the fuck up, you pig face troll. Why only me? At any rate, I hope this is finally settled now. <laughs> it's very like you guys to sell things like, like this. Oh, really? It feels like I made such a huge fuss about it. Finally, sell things. That's just like you guys. Well? Little by little, we're trying to understand and find good in each other. That's the reason we can move forward without feeling spared towards the situation. Yep. Yeah, you guys are all splendid. Splendid, huh? This body is uncooperative. Huh, I've arrived. Apology, apologies for the way. What? What the? What's the object that's releasing such foul aura? Impossible! Hmm, a mouse clings to my rope, even after her death. We'll be sucked in if we look directly at it. You're the worst! Wow, that's a very hopeless object. It doesn't belong in, hopeless, in a hopeful place like this at all. It's absolutely br brimming with. Malice. <laughs> Let's hurry up and destroy it. Can't stand to look at it for even one more second. Wow. I'll destroy you! Stand inside, I shall shatter this barbaric blasphemous false idol to pieces. <laughs> oh no! Now that those two are here, do you still think we're splendid? Hmm. Looks like it's gonna take a while, a little more time. I completely agree. The scene unfolding in front of me was so embarrassing, all I could do a sigh. But at least it was a peaceful scene. However, I didn't realize just how short lived this peace would be. Even though we were finally bonding, the situation was brewing, with a huge fraction brewing between us all. And that would be a trigger for a truly horrible and atrocious, atrocious incident. Not just for me, 
for every single one of us. We just hadn't realized it yet. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Pio, I'm stuck. I can't eat another bite. I think I can't, I can't eat another damn bite. Hey! Make sure to eat a lot. Don't you ever worry about, like, choking? Yo! I never get worried. <laughs> you don't? Wait. What about Fuyuhiko? Um... Is he really alright? I was so, so concerned. I could not sleep at all last night. Huh? Plus, if, if his fate... His fate... Is in... Monokuma's pause, I'm even more concerned. <laughs> uh, if only could have tended to his wounds somehow. I wish I wasn't so useless. I mean, you try your best. Uh, well, I don't think you guys should worry about it. You... Do you just forget everything that happens when you eat? Alright! Now that I got a belly full, full of food, I'm all set. So... I'll show you my serious side! Leave the rest to me. I'll question Monokuma and avenge Fuyuhiko. That's obviously wrong! Avenge, not even dead. Sheesh! What vengeance? You just, you just want to test your, your skill. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, she flat out admitted it. Hello! Okay, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Meaningless. Oh, it's you, Mommy. What do you want? Jeez! Man, the fun moon's over. Now it thanks to you. Uh? Oh, did I ruin the moon? <laughs> Please don't treat me so harshly. I did my very best today too. <laughs> hey, who the hell are who the hell are you? I'm talking about something important. So go away. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Stop it! Wait, no, I definitely don't want to be treated like an outsider. Just what do you want? What do you mean by I did my very best? Um Oh you finally asked me. Hey! Well, once again I feed another model beast. How do you like me now? I worked hard, didn't I? Hey. If you defeat a mon beast, that means Yup, island island free can now be the third island can now be explored. Ding 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 ding! That's right, you are now able to visit yet another island. <laughs> so let's let's so let's all live happily ever after with each other this time, okay? No more getting tricked by Mon Kuma. No more thinking about leaving this island. Love Love. Let's all live, live together peacefully as best friends. A new island, huh? Maybe now we'll finally find it. We we'll get off this island and go home. No, that's the only thing we have. That's our one and only hope. Could could it be? All right, guys. Think about leaving the island, even though you said not to. Do you have a minute? More importantly, mommy, what happened to Fuyuhiko? Hmm. Huh, Fuyuhiko? Uh um, you see, I don't really know. I won't be fooled! Miss Sona can't see, it's just a waste of time. Ask her. In the end, she's just Monokuma's ally. You fiend. You're also part of that mysterious World Ender, world Ender organization, aren't you? Hey! That's the organization that brought us to this island, right? Since you're the one who brought us to this island, that's gotta be it. Hey! hey I don't know if you're a rabbit or a pig. But just what are you planning? Huh? This is a great opportunity. It's time to finally fill us in. <laughs> She's gonna run. Oh, uh, what dilemma. But that's the one thing I can't say. Bye bye. Truly, it's a tragedy of male management. Hold on a sec. She ran away again. She's always like this when things get in inconvenient for her. Well. Oh well. Who cares about mommy? More importantly, <laughs> she mentioned New Island. What should we do? However, I do not think we should be exploring when Fuhiko is in danger. Hey, but I must move forward. No matter what spirit stands in our way, that's where hope should be. What hope? You always say that just before you lead us into a trap. There's something wrong with you. Jeez, you're serious, just you're seriously. She just as annoying as Monokuma. Hey, hey. I'm also worried about Fuhiko, but is it really okay if we just stay here and do nothing? Is it better if we do what we can? Just have like two people stay behind. 
But we can, huh? She's right. Let's just let. She's right. Let's try to find a way off this island before he comes back. Hmm. You are right. Fluhiko will not recover any faster. If you just stand around and do nothing. <laughs> I agree with Sonia. All right. That's excited. Let's explore and search for a new hope. Wait. So wouldn't it be faster? So wouldn't it be faster to just speed up the rest of my beast and search all the islands in one go? Leave it to me. A strange looking rabbit can defeat one. It should be easy for us too. No, she has special powers. Hold on. Hey, don't think about doing anything reckless. <laughs> anyway, let's begin. Let's open the way to a hope-filled future with our very own hands. After all that, I feel like we're doing exactly what Nagito wants us to do. In order to prepare for exploring the new island, we left the restaurant. Okay, let's leave. Mommy is right. The mom and beast that was blocking this bridge is gone. It's gone. Then if we cross this bridge, then if we cross this bridge, we should reach the new island. What a feeling of hope in my heart that overshadowed ain't lingering fear of nerves or, ner or nervousness I felt. Across the bridge that cr led to the new island. What's it gonna look like? What? So this is the third island. The ambiance is completely different compared to the previous islands. The residents and ruins are all in shambles. It barely feels like a resort. And not just that, there's definitely no signs of any people here either. It feels a little dangerous somehow. It might be better to proceed cautiously. It looks like this is the Hospital's lobby. The ambience feels like something out of a horror film. I definitely don't, don't want to be a patient here. Hajime! Whoa, where'd you come from? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm sorry I scared you. But don't worry. Even if you have a heart attack from getting too scared, this is a hospital after all. The moment I have a heart attack, I definitely have something I need to be worried about. But this hospital is a little strange. Can't find any doctors, nurse, or patients anywhere. Just as I thought here too. Damn it, there's nobody here either. What's going on with this island? But oh, I noticed all the all the medical supplies are still here. I'm not, I'm not sure they'll be useful unless we check them. <laughs> that means I need to go check them, right? I right, still so go ahead and do that in a flash. So please don't hate me. Nobody's gonna hate you. Mikon frankly ran to the other end of the dark hall and disappeared, making a few huge fuss as she left. I guess that means it's okay to leave this place to her, uh. Paper on the bulletin board. Apparently, it's, no, it's a hospital notice. There's no one on this island. So who's that? This who's this notice written for? <laughs> hmm, of all people, it seems I've immersed myself in nostalgia. This place is similar to the place where the mark of defeating the devil was car was carved into my body long ago. Mark of being the devil. This guy is way too delusional. 
How pitiful. I said too much. Forget what you heard, for your sake. He was the one who volunteered that information. Now he's already telling me to forget it. The patient room and consultation room are beyond this point, right? Well, it's fine if I leave it to Mikan. Tinny Typhoon? What? What kind of name is that? This building, with its gaudy and tasteless neon lights, honestly looks suspicious. Can't say for sure there's no danger. I should cautiously check what's inside. Shining so suddenly. Don't surprise me like that. <laughs> Truth is so overwhelming that I can't help shouting out. That's totally it! Guys, this is a music venue, right? Yeah, it looks like it. I love music! I never expect to see a fine music venue. Can't help feeling excited. I never expect to find a music venue. Music venue. Can't help feeling excited. Stop repeating yourself! Huh? Huh? Did you say that twice? Yes, huh? you did. Oh, did, I say, did I just say that twice? Yes, you did. Are you okay giving off a weird vibe? No problemo! Not at all, I'm totally fine. No problemo! Not at all, I'm totally fine. Can we stop talking to her now? Crap! How huh, did you say that twice again? Crap! How huh, did you say that twice again? You don't look very okay. <laughs> Man, with a venue like this, Ibuki has no choice but to lend a helping hand. <laughs> This is just the beginning. Yahoo! I invite everyone to feel this wonderful feeling. It's like the smug feeling you get when you explain something with an, with an elaborate metaphor no one understands. I feel like I understand, but at the same time I don't understand. Oh well, if you're really taking a liking to this music venue, I'll leave you to investigate it. <laughs> leave it to me, like let me bite you. No! I'm tired, should hurry up, go check another place. Check out another place. So this is a bat baton lighting control panel. Apparently control the baton lighting with this. There's a stage. It'll, I'll probably never have a chance to be in the limelight. It says staff only on the door. It's probably some sort of storage room. Might as well check inside. There's a lot of different instruments here. Including drum sets and guitars. Looks like there's stage design stuff too. Painting stage lights, wallpaper, and curtains. I guess there's nothing special here we need right now. Scarfing wallpaper, even different paints. It's probably stuff used for living up a stage design or live performances. Saw a stickers for the venue logo place here. It's like they made a bunch of them and had too many left over. It feels somewhat depressing. There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I had never seen before. See your whole body, 
is huge full length mirror. How used for checking costumes? A mirror this big, it'll be easy to check out how you look. There are two step ladders next to each other. These must be required for stage design. They might, they, they might even be used for stuff like film, film program, pro, film projects. Splendid place, Hajime. This must be the fabled disco. Disco. See? Here's where hip youngsters wear feather fans and tight clothes as they dance their go go's and land bias does. I've no clue what Sonya's talking about. Check out the motel. It's a small building with guest accommodations and parking lot. This is supposed to be a motel, right? I've seen it before in movies, but it's my first time actually seeing one person. <laughs> well, I want to run down motel. Looks pretty unsanitary too. It's just like Hajime's house. Hey, you never been to Hajime's house? How'd you know? You mean his cottage? You never see my house. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you were here. You don't stand out at all, so I didn't notice you. Why, thanks. <laughs> anyway, this place is seriously run down. It's like the perfect home for minimum wage workers. That's a bit harsh, don't you think? But... But you gotta make sure we check it out. Thoroughly, it's possible there might be a clue here. I think so? Why don't you go? In, why don't you go inside, look around instead of staying around here, doing nothing? Hey! Probably too vulgar to get this, but there's a saying: "Praise a fool, he may make him useful." What's that supposed to mean? So. I kind was checking out the, the, the was checking out the inside. After I gave her a little praise, she got really excited, excited about it. A dumbass like her is pretty rare, so you gotta make sure it's tr she's treated well. If a rotten attitude is this extreme, you can't really take it personally. It's a bunch of similar looking private rooms. The insides probably look the same too. It's dark and slightly dirty. There's no doubt that a room like this would be perfect in a crime movie. If you just to stay at night, Cause the cause is good enough. Wait, why we can't go inside? Is that it? A run down rusty and Ryan car. Someone banned. Hey, hey. hey it will start off by just keep staring at it. There are a bunch of street booths filled with electric, electric appliances in the back of narrow alleyway. Machines and other parts are cluttered together on display. It definitely seems fishy. But wait. With this many machines, we can probably find something we can use for two-way communication, right? Looks like it's best if I search around here.
There's a lot of CRT TVs lined up here. They all look really old. It looks like they're not designed for test test real real digital broadcasting. Not that it matters. It looks like the TV signal isn't reaching here anyway. What is this? There are so many machines. Just by looking at them, I have no clue what they're used for. Ah. I don't really recommend that, sec that section. Oh, huh, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure amateurs won't really get it. All that stuff here. It's all machines used for stuff like wiretapping or recording secret videos. Oh, that could be important later. That could be an important clue. Looks like there are some... Looks like there's some ancient looking surveillance cameras too. Machines used for se recording secret videos. Huh? Oh, hey, don't get it twisted. I just have mechanical knowledge of these things. I've never actually used them before, alright? Sure. No one said you did. Hey, speaking of surveillance cameras, they're being constantly videotaped and wiretapped by Monokuma, right? Like, I'm kind of jealous because what does, he, what does he see when he's watching with Sonya? Oh, uh, why what? I don't think he's looking at her. He says he never used these before. But let him be. He's the type of person who will eventually use them. Huh? Are you serious? <laughs> are, you, are you shitting me? What happened? How'd you be happier about being surrounded by so much, so much machinery? But it's like broken down machinery, isn't it? Of course not! Ah, uh, don't say stupid things. I'm the ultimate mechanic, you know? Of course I'm happy when I'm surrounded by machines. Then, then you should look happier. You... Dude, try to understand how I'm feeling. <laughs> I have this unexplainable, conflicting feeling about whether or not I should be happy. I can't understand that feel kind of feeling. But why? Why do you feel so conflicted? Huh? There's all this machinery lined up here. <gasps> Hot damn. I wanna take them apart. I wanna I want wanna dismantle them and look inside. That's how you usually think, right? Aw oh, man. But I know now is not the time for me to do something like that. And that's why I feel so conflicted. Is wanting to, to dismantle normal? Huh? Hell yes, it's like, yeah, if you have the hots for a chick, you want to take off her clothes, right? I'm not sure that's a perfect analogy for that. You want to check out her bone structure, right? Like her ribs or where parts of her bones stick out, right? No? That's not normal. That's a pretty acro bag sex fetish. You serious? Seriously? You didn't even know. Ah. I see. So, why, so wanting to see a chick's bone structure makes me a little perverted. Pretty much. Various desktops and laptop computers are arranged in disorderly manner like a pile of oversized trash. Though they're a little old fashioned and run down, they all look like they can still be used. I know if we can I know if we can connect to the internet, we might be able to call for help with these. Nope, not gonna be that easy. Since I thought of that, I grabbed a random laptop, pulled it out of the and pulled out of the pile, and turned it on. I try to see if we can connect to the internet. It's no use. Looks like it's not connecting. Well, there's no way it'd be that easy, but just when I was about to give up, my eyes noticed strange icons ranged on desktop. It was telling me X-Files. What is this? Without thinking, I clicked that strangely named icon. It's a document file. Based on the format, it looks like some kind of report. 
I scan across the words displayed on display on the screen. About the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. You know, the horrendous event originated with some of Hulk's Peak Academy causing a revolt. The students of the reserve department were dissatisfied with being treated differently than the primary department and began to fight the academy. At first, the dispute was confined to the campus and hope it were high that it would settle down someday. But things quickly escalated. Behind the scenes of that rebellion, a huge authority was exerting its influence. Eventually, it spread like an infection, pro pro provoking riots in various parts of the world. It was unlike any at previous act of terrorism, or coup d'etat, it seemed to have a much different purpose. However, no matter what we assume, we simply cannot apply reason to the subversive movements. Nonetheless, the destruction is not chaotic or disorganized. It is both purposeful and malicious. Therefore, it is a subversive movement full of despair. Hulk's Peak Academy became the origin of this incident that was forced to put an end to their long history. As for the students who survived, they were forced to kill each other as a lesson in despair. It's no use. Words are too garbled, gar garbled to read it beyond this point. But what is this? Boy! <laughs> Tough crowd. Hmm, not normal. It's not normal for like a dog's barking. It's, it's like such a normal reaction. That's actually quite no no novel. Now Sombo. I'm really angry! Hey, can you react with more gusto? Don't you know how very important? Very, very important to see this. Yeah, I mean you're look I mean Hajime is like whatever. It's not more excited. Could it be where you want to create this file? What's this? My mind what makes you think that? Because it's obviously the only thing I, only thing I can think of. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history rise in various parts of the world. And Hope Peak Academy getting destroyed. It sounds like something stupid you make up. And and what's Hope Peak Academy Reserve Department? Never even heard of that before. What? Not really. That's true. Of all people, you should definitely be the one. You should definitely be the only one who knows about it. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> I guess you forgot about it. Long for memories of your school life, so it can't be helped. While you're on the subject of stupid things, that file says something about the students, about the students who survive. Is that is it referring to us? Then the rest of that file is. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on a second, you guys. Hey, hey! Jeez, what the heck have you been? Have you guys been talking about? This doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Movies with no image, images, music with no sound, novels with no words. These are things that truly don't make any sense. What are you saying? So you can't say something like, so you can't say something this simple doesn't make any sense. Who cares about that? Just answer me. Who are the students who, who survive? No. I want no important story like that. Cause the only thing I'm good for is being cute. You liar! Damn it, he ran away again. Uh. Hey, Ajime. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure he's making all this, uh, all that up. That's 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 definitely it. So this is cell phone corner. Looks like they don't get reception. Even with all this rare uh, variety, they they might as well be paperweights. Even as much, even with all this variety, they might as well be paper paperweights. Terra Terra will never use this old microwave. We will probably use the latest kitchen equipment to cook the world's tastiest dishes. With those di with those dishes. Would make a lot of people smile, but that's no longer. There's a lot of electric, electric appliances in this mess, including home appliances and autistic, autistic 
equipment. Acoustic equipment. All these look old. Do they even still work? Somehow it looks like she's pushing things out of the pile of electric electrical appliances. Shock, what happened? Are you looking for something? Well? Yeah, I was wondering if there are, if there are any game count consoles near. Sometimes hard, old hardware is treated like junk. Ah, so that's what you're doing. Um... I already have a TV in my college, so it doesn't have to be a non-portable device. I'll sell for anything. If you do find something, let me know. I'll help you carry it back to your college. Yep. Yeah, I will. I want to play video games for a while. I'd rather not be reminded of the previous incident. Okay, it's the last area. Last place. Welcome! Where did you come from? I'm currently showing right now. So please wait five minutes for your next showing to start. Showing, what does that mean? What are you saying? Are your eyes just for show? Look around, this is a movie theater, right? Of course! Yeah, I'm honestly showing a movie. Showing a movie? Well, I guess there's no need to even ask. You're just gonna say it's next motive, right? It's just like Twilight Syndrome murder case. I'm definitely not gonna watch your movie. Well, whatever it is, I'm never gonna see it. Yeah. My goodness. And I was thinking about giving you an invitation. Take it. Damn it! But, what, but I won't allow you to not watch it. I went to a lot of trouble to make this movie. If you don't watch, I'm gonna be sad. I'm sure, the movie's no different than that game you made. No, no! That game was a shy piece of crap, but this movie is definitely a masterpiece. Anyway, as long as I refuse to allow it, you'll never have the chance, have the choice to not watch it. I am Monokuma! On this island, my word is law! If don't wanna watch it, what are you gonna do about it? What the heck? There's no way I allow such reckless behavior. There's no way I allow it, but... What are you gonna do? I'll forgive you if you purchase a Makuma sticker at the goods counter, at the goods counter over there. Makuma sticker? It's a video game poster. Hmm, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. I knew you could do it! It's a food shop. A lot of things like popcorn, sandwiches, and, and drinks are all arranged here. There's some strange goods on top of the on top of the counter. This one looks like a tote bag made of hem cloth with a decal of mommy's face on it. No. Ah, oh, did I catch your eye? It was all. It's an all-purpose tote bag useful for a variety of common tasks. Limited item. Only one person can have it. By the way, apparently top bags were originally created in Ben to carry around ice. Hmm? So how bad you wanna buy it? I'll pass. Okay. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I'll just be up front with you. I cut a lot of corners making that thing. That's too up front. Is this a sticker you're talking about? I'm sorry I was born stupid. Not funny, and I, don't, and I don't understand its purpose. How half-assed is this? Ax 
actually. I'll tell you the truth, this, this is a very lucky sticker I received from Wandering Miracle Worker pre Working Priest. What? And it could be yours for the, for the special price of only $1.5 million. $1.5 million? Don't mess with me, I don't even have that kind of money. <laughs> then you can pay me back when you get off this island. If you don't like it, you can always watch, just watch mine. Fine, I'll pay it. I don't believe it! Wow, I'm surprised. As long as I pay it, after I get out of here, I'll pay anything. Even $1.5 million. Ba -bum, ba -bum. You're the first person to ever pay $1.5 million for a sticker. <laughs> In other words, you really don't want to watch my movie, huh? That makes me a sad Makuma. <laughs> but I, if I'm going to make a huge profit, it's okay. My mascot was a hobby of counting money after all. You're the worst mascot ever. Here! Come on, take it deep and, and slap it on your forehead. Thief. Take advantage of this divine opportunity, thief. The sticker I received was even thinner and more cheap looking than I thought it would, it would be. It's like, a, it's like a prize from a box of candy. Did I really agree to buy so much money for this piece, piece of crap? Maybe I am a little crazy. <laughs> Whoa there, looks like the show is over. Alrighty, gotta collect those twists and errors. Who's even watching? At that moment, Monokuma started humming and skipped away towards the door leading into the theater. The door opened violently, one person appeared from within. Hey! Hey! Ah, Nogito, please answer my questionnaire. Jeez. Doesn't matter if I answer it. That movie was so boring, it was torture. Man, it felt like weeks while, while I was watching it. Hmm. Um. G gasp! Well, I guess it's what, that's what art is. Because it's not really art unless it surpasses common sense. <sighs> Thought it was going to be another motive. I guess that's not the case. Well, I let down. If my would sell this, I should have sold it with money. Nagito is so depressed. That movie must... The movie must must have been really, really bad. I definitely made the right call by not watching it. Apparently I couldn't watch Makuma's specially made movie. I, however, I heard the content is just terrible. I don't have to watch it since I bought the sticker. But it cost 1.5 million dollars. Maybe I was too hasty. <sighs> so I'm so tired from boredom. It might would have gotten me out of seeing it. I should sell it with money. Let me ask you something. If you're told you could pay 1.5 million dollars and not watch that movie, well, that's obvious. I gladly pay it. Why? Why is it so bad? Quick answer. The movie must have been that bad, huh? Well, Hash well, Hajime, after Nagito's own reveal, reveal, did you change your mind about watching my movie? Of course not. Please wait. Hajime, over here. Please hold on. Sonya, did something happen? Well, just now I went to the hospital. I just went to the hospital and it appears Mika has made a. Very serious discovery at the hospital. Very serious discovery at the hospital. It's not strange drugs or techniques or anything like that, right? Hajime appears you're the same as me. Huh? See? It's the same as if I turn around, he's there. But I also remember that person to win. What is she talking about? What are you talking about? <sighs> Jeez, are you so unrefined? It's Japan's legendary medical drama. That person to win aired in 1984 is the standard for every trendy drama that followed. Well? It's about a righteous rookie doctor and elite senior doctor who fight over their mutual love interest. Actually, the lead actor and actress got married in real life. 
Hold on, why do you know so much about old Japanese medical dramas? <laughs> anyway, please hurry. We will be waiting at the patient's room in the back of the hospital's first floor. The patient's room, the patient room at the back of the hospital's first floor. I don't really understand, but I might as well head there up to the hospital. Hello there. You're late, Hajime. Looks like you're the last one. Why did you follow him? Are, are the others already here? Yep. Their patient's room. Their patient room's lying in the hallway. But everyone's apparently gathered at the room in the very back. You're not gonna go with them? <laughs> with Miss Sonia as expected from the ultimate princess. She cordially asked me to come. She's very much in touch with the feelings of us common folks. <laughs> Nevertheless, I know my place. I'm not reckless enough to go along with her. Since it's gonna be touch such a touching scene. Worthless thing like me will be a nuisance, right? Touching scene. I. Ask me, I'm jealous of you. Jealous of me? Hey. Don't know what your talent is, but you're showing no stress. You're even opening up to everyone. Great! That must mean you have a lot of confidence in yourself, right? Are you being sarcastic? Well. Nope, not at all. Hmm. <laughs> but still, I do wonder what sort of talent you really are. You really possess. He's the ultimate detective! She dragged it out of its long array. I'm sure it must be in appropriately magnificent, magnificent talents. Who knows? It's not like it's my fault for dragging this out. You're right. Sorry. I'm um, sorry. I'm sorry for stopping you for such a foolish conversation. <laughs> Please go on ahead. Take care. After all of that, what do you really want to say to me? Voice on the other side of the door. Sounds like they're all really here, but what are they doing here? I feel like, I had a feeling something bad was happening again. Cautiously open the door. Huh? I couldn't help raise my voice. What? You all look like you've seen a ghost. Who you, Hiko? Are you all right? <laughs> it's just a scratch. That's not a scratch at all, though. Well, I'm relieved to see you. I was worried you were done for. <laughs> There's no way I'd die from something like this. There's no way I can die. Um. Earlier, I asked Monokuma, and he showed me his medical record records. There's a lot of sword related wounds, but they're relatively light wounds. No organs or nerves were damaged. Oh. Considering how furiously he was attacked, it's pretty miraculous. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're ballsy ones. Is that what they call having the devil luck? Is that so? Who knows? Maybe it wasn't luck. Well, maybe Peko gave her life to protect Fujiko. Are you serious? She protected him while get she was getting attacked by that horde of marionettes. But still. But if she really wanted to protect Fujiko at all costs. It's not strange to think that she would have done that. No, I think it's better to... No, I think it's better if we think about it like that. You... You think so too, right, Fuhiko? It must have been what you thought. There's no way he can die, right? Who knows? He's really sad. After forcing those out those words, Fuhiko turned in his bed away from us. And stop talking. Um. I think Fuyuhiko should rest here for a while. His wounds haven't fully healed, so it'll be bad if he overexerted himself. <laughs> no need to worry. I'll take care of him for the for time being. I mean, that's what nurses are for. Now then. You heard that, Fuyuhiko? Just relax and get some sleep. Leave it to me. I'll be the one who avenges who, who avenges you. That's obviously wrong. Seriously, he's not. He's not dead. I mean, shouldn't you know? Talk so loudly in front of the injured. Hold on! Mikani, Fuyuhiko has finally come back to us. You, be you better not do anything reckless. 
Can't stand the thought of losing someone any longer. Move! I know that I just have to win, right? This is bad. She doesn't understand at all. Then. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. Hey, Nekomaru. Sheesh! You're the kind of woman who refuses to listen, even once her mind's made up. I know that all too well. So do whatever you want. I don't care about you anymore. However. I'm never gonna do it to you again. Do it to you. Huh? It? Uh, uh, yeah. Please keep your voice down. You're the loudest one here. Hey! Hey, wait a second, Nek Nekomaru. It's my first time I never thought something that feels so good even exists in this world. Oh, they're just fighting. It's nothing. It's not anything other than that. Did you really have to say it like that? My body still haven't forgotten. Now you're saying you're gonna just stop all of a sudden? It's hot. Look, my body's getting all hot. Just think about it. Hey, hey! You're kidding me. Is it it what I think it is? Huh? You're not gonna heed my warning. It's unfortunate, but it must come to an end. As he spat out those words, Nekomaru left the patient's room. Wait! Hold on, I can't live without it. The voice that sounded like it wanted to cling on to Nekomaru. Kai rushed out of the patient's room. Oh my! I wonder what that was all about. <laughs> he was fine and quiet. He had such bad manners. To raise your voice inside inside the hospital. How pitiful. Humans are such foolish creatures. Hey Yoko. Oh, she's still angry at him. <laughs> it's nothing. Something's definitely wrong. I mean, she's glaring really hard at Fuyuhiko. But I guess it makes sense. Yeah, he did try to kill Ma Mahiro. Fuyuhiko is the one who got Mahiro killed by Peko. And Hiyoko was nearly framed as a killer. There's no way she's just, she's just going to get over that. Hey, why are you make such a scary face? You know, right? Like, no matter what it means, it... <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's still talking about it. Hey, hey, hey! Suspicious. Definitely su suspicious. <gasps> All I gotta do is follow them. Think so too, right? A fire that didn't need to be started has become a towering inferno. <laughs> so glad Fuhiko's life was saved. Perhaps. Like Shaki said, it must be due to Pe Peko. Yes, probably is. I am concerned. I'm getting a little tired for it. must be from all of the, the relief. We should leave the investigation of the new island for tomorrow and, try, and, and retire for the evening. I'll leave that matter to your discretion. I'll leave this matter entirely in your, in your hands. It doesn't happen often. But every once in a while, Sonia forcefully reminds me she's a princess. So what should we do? What should we do? You guys want to call it quits for a day? We can talk about tomorrow. I know we're all tired from all, from all the walking we've done today. Um. Uh, please leave Fu Hiko to me. I'll make sure she's he's nursed back to health. I'll do my best. I'll do my very best nursing back to health, so I won't be hated. She's still glaring. Is she gonna kill him? We're now excited to call a day and head back to our colleges. Walking around all day war wore us out, but the exhaustion we felt must have been must have also been a feeling of relief. I arrived at my college much earlier than usual, and fell into a deep, deep sleep. What are you thinking? How do you admire superheroes? Don't you understand what superheroes are like? Superheroes live to stop people from achieving their hopes and dreams, you know. What? Immediately attack people in groups. They don't, they don't have many friends themselves, you know. They're all short-tempered and say stuff like, Now I'm mad, I won't forgive you. And laugh, you know. The lazy people run away once the other guy starts fighting back, you know. They're willing to use weapons even if they're even fighting someone who's alone or, or unarmed, you know. They're always a winner, so they don't know what it's like to have weaklings and worries, you know. And they like to wear co flashy costumes, you know. Which means they're all a bunch of smart, good-looking, violent, stubborn leaders who don't have many friends. Emergency! Emergency! Do you really want to admire people like that? Ahem! Hope Peak Academy school trip exam!
executive committee has an announcement to make. Good morning, everyone. Looks like today is going to be another perfect tropical day. Now then, let's show some enthusiasm and make sure to give it our all today. Phew. It's been a while since I slept a lot. I had feels my head feels clearer thanks to that. All right, I should head over to I should have I should head over to the restaurant. Okay, so this is where I'll be stopping off for today. Thank you for watching this part of Dang Europa 2. Goodbye, Spare. Have a great day or night, wherever you are. And please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And please comment if you found anything interesting in the video.